Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. James here again with you, bringing you another video on STKO. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell for notifications so that way you get notified when a video is uploaded, guys. So stay tuned in. Let's get into today's video. So first off, thank you for all that have subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And in this video, guys, uh, I've posted a video recently about 22 rimfire versus a 22 pellet and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel but that video was almost compared comparing apples to oranges and in this video I want to compare apples to apples so with that said I was reading the comments and I've listened to hope to you, a lot of you guys what you mentioned in your comments about comparing 22 caliber pellets to 22 rimfire shorts so Again, listening to you guys, I went out and find, found some available. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Aguila 22 Super Calibri, which is a 20 grain rimfire bullet. It's like a short, but it's almost in like a long or long rifle casing. Compared to a H&N Barracuda Match 21.14 grain. Now... To make this as even as possible, let me show you what I'm going to be using those out of. So the H&N Barracuda Match 21.14 grain will be shot through the Crossman Fury Nitro Piston. And those are going at the muzzle, 18 foot-pounds of muzzle energy about 615 feet per second at the muzzle but that's not the point of this video as you already know the Aguila Super Calibre is going to be shot through this AR-22 upper 16 inch barrel and they are at the muzzle going 580 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 15 foot-pounds but again in this video, I'm going to be testing at 25 yards, guys. So I picked some random targets like I did in the last video, comparing the apples to oranges. But I hope, again, in this video, I'm comparing more apples to apples, and you'll see why. So let me start off by getting the targets set up with the chronograph. And let's get to it, guys. So if you may notice already, uh, I already had some chronograph issues due to the way my targets were sitting in the shade and not reading properly. So I did get some readings and I tell you what guys, as you've seen the targets, the pellet and the bullet were neck and neck on impact. Now the actual pellet had more muzzle energy than the bullet did, the 22 rimfire bullet, but on impact they were equal as possible. And as you've seen that, uh, I got some readings and they both printed out the same exact feet per second, exact to the number, 525 feet per second. So uh, not much to go about on the bottles. They both did what they were supposed to do, went through, no big deal. Both sides of the bottle went through completely, passed through. Now here is the paper plates. This is a stack of 60 paper plates and they did not go all the way through. But I'm going to tear this open because I took a couple shots of each at these paper plates. And the reason being is, for one, to get on the paper plates at 25 yards. And number two, to get some good chronograph readings. So, as you see there, that was my first 22 rimfire bullet. There's my uh, second one, and here's my two pellets. So, let's see how far we went down here, and I'll count them out real quick. 
So there was 60 paper plates total. There's six, ten. Oh, there's a pellet already. There's one pellet. So 15 paper plates in, I've already found a pellet. And I shot two of them at it just to get a chronograph reading. So they did not go that far, actually. There's a six plates. So that's 21 plates already of penetration here. Oh, there it is. There's the other pellet, and here's the bullet, guys. So, 21 plates minus the 2 or minus the... So 16 plates is where they stopped. 16 of these thick paper plates, guys, is where it stopped. Bullet and pellet. And on impact, they are the same exact energy. 20 grain bullet, 21.14 grain pellet, guys. Which is, I believe it was 13 foot-pounds of energy on target. 525 feet per second, roughly. That's what the chronograph read when it was reading correctly. That is crazy. And to prove that... Not only did it go through these paper plates like that at 25 yards, but I ended up setting my pan down there, and as you can see on camera, you can see they both, it didn't matter which one you want to choose here, they both have the same indentation on the pot, or the pan, and they both have the same, you know, on the back side here. There's no one that's deeper or anything like that. So they both hit this pan at the same force, almost the same projectile weight there is truly no difference that I can see guys and the chronograph number again shows that 525 feet per second downrange 13 foot pounds at 25 yards on impact that is crazy again apples to apples like I mentioned so guys that was crazy I truly appreciate you watching as always and I hope we got something from this video uh, yeah the pellet started out a lot faster with a lot more energy but it dumps its energy a lot more compared to a bullet style projectile. Uh, that is crazy within itself. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but again, to me, this comparison was more apples to apples than apples and oranges, like mentioned as the past. And like you guys commented, comparing a short rimfire to a pellet itself, and hopefully these two rifles that I used were so close, and like I mentioned, and you've seen it, there's hardly no difference in this video anyway. So again, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.